At the recent Human Machine Integration Summit 4 at Texas A&M University, Lockheed Martin unveiled a new mobile launcher concept that could significantly enhance the capabilities of the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. Mounted on a 10x10 Marine Corps LVSR truck, this launcher is capable of carrying up to 24 227mm guided artillery rockets and has the potential to support various munitions, including surface-to-air interceptors, attic short-range ballistic missiles, and precision strike missiles, or PRSMs. This new system is built on the Marine Corps MKR-18 LVSR truck, which shares a similar structure to the Army's M1075 palletized load system, PLS, both produced by Oshkosh Defense. The launcher's modular design allows it to carry up to 24 rockets, which would drastically increase the payload capacity compared to current systems like HIMARS, which can carry just six rockets. Initial configurations may allow for six GMLRS rockets, two PRSMs, or one Atticms missile per module, with further potential to expand its range to include longer-range PRSMs with capabilities of up to 1,000 kilometers. This launcher's design aligns with several ongoing modernization projects led by the U.S. Army Futures Command, such as the Extended Range Cannon Artillery, which aims to increase artillery range beyond 70 kilometers, and the Precision Strike Missile Program, which officially entered service in 2023. These systems are designed to enhance accuracy, payload, and range, making them highly effective in modern combat scenarios. Another initiative, the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon Project, aims to develop a missile system capable of engaging high-value targets at extended ranges. What sets this mobile launcher apart is its dual-use potential, capable of both artillery and air defense operations. The system could integrate interceptors such as those from the PAC-3 family, the AIM-9X, and Tamir interceptors used in Iron Dome systems. This would allow the launcher to not only deliver offensive firepower but also defend against incoming aerial threats, making it a versatile addition to military arsenals. Additionally, the launcher would connect with the Army's Integrated Battle Command System, or IBCS, enabling coordination with radar and sensor networks for improved target tracking and threat defense. However, it's important to note that while the system's large size provides impressive payload capabilities, it may come at the cost of mobility. Unlike HIMARS, which is designed for rapid deployment via C-130 aircraft, this larger platform may be slower to deploy in certain scenarios. The U.S. Army Futures Command continues to focus on enhancing artillery and missile systems, pushing the boundaries of range, precision, and adaptability. With ongoing projects like the YRCA system, which aims to extend artillery ranges significantly, and the ongoing development of hypersonic missiles, the U.S. military is preparing for a new era of rapid response firepower. The integration of unmanned systems, like the Autonomous Multi-Domain Launcher Project, could further improve operational flexibility while reducing the risk to personnel. Lockheed Martin's new mobile launcher concept is a game-changer for the U.S. military. Its combination of artillery and air defense capabilities, modular design, and potential for integration with advanced munitions positions it as a critical asset for future operations. As part of the broader modernization efforts, this system could reshape how the military conducts both offensive and defensive operations in the years to come. Thank you.